Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So I'm going to be going through some two pounds and some 50 pences to try and find the rare and valuable ones, the ones that you can find in your change, the ones that are worth more than the 50p or the two pound printed on them. But more importantly than that, I'm on a quest to fill my coin album, which has got every 50p and every two pound in, or will be by the time I've finished, that you can find in circulation. So I'm doing all right. Still need Kew Gardens, which is no surprise, and 12 Olympics. But I've got every other 50p. Although at the time of filming, we're waiting for the Pride coin to enter its circulation. So um, that may well be out by now, who knows? But uh, anyway, I still need it at the time of filming. And £2 wise, only need Commonwealth Games Wales. Now, this is going to be part, this is a little five part mini series. So there's a bit of a story to where I got the coins from um, and what I'm doing. So I'll tell you that as I, uh, as I go along. But here it is. £100 worth of 50 pences, so 10 bags of 50p's, and £300 worth of £2 coins. I'm going to separate them off first into £2 and 50p's. Stick the 50p's over here out of the way, I think. There we go. So, yes, the story is this. So, in the little five, in the five, yeah, there are the £2. So, in the, the five episodes, we're going to be doing three hundred pound an episode. So that's a total of one thousand five hundred pound, as well as a hundred pound of fifty p's in each episode as well. Because those of you that have been watching my solo hunt for a little while will know that I like to mix it up. And the story is this: the I was in the in the post office getting some coins because my mate Liz, the number one post office lady, told me that there was some coins in to collect, and uh, she said someone just been in. And bought all of their travel money in two pound coins, so there was one thousand five hundred pounds worth of two pound coins cashed in. And I'm hoping that I've got just that a uh, cash in. So I've split it into uh, five five episodes, three hundred pounds an episode. I opened two bags of fifty p's, two bags of two hundred and fifty pounds worth of fifty p's. Open them up. And split into a hundred pound a piece because I do like to mix it up on my solo hunts these days and let's see how we get on but hopefully someone's been collecting two pounds for a little while cash them in for the holidays and doesn't realize what the, the value of them is thinking that they are just worth two pound I don't realize that you can sell some of them for up to 35 pound sure let's see how we do so while i was talking there i did find three commemoratives there's the fourth one and i'll go back and do a little quick review of that in a minute once i've gone through that bag found maybe one coin that's worth more than the two pound that's printed on it and that is this one the charles darwin origin of the species so that's maybe not in great condition that so i probably wouldn't pay any more than two pound for it myself they are all face value. Guy Fawkes there. The First World War Centenary and celebrating the 1999 World Cup. So yes, that Darwin is worth a little bit more than £2. Maybe £3 if it was in... £4 if it was in really good condition. But because it's not in great condition, I'll just say it's going to be worth the £2 that's stamped on it. Right, he's commemorative number five. Shakespeare. It's not in very nice condition either. I will be, um, you know what, do I have to put them there so you can see them? How about that? Come zoom in a bit. Uh, what was I going to say there? Oh, forgot, for, for more, forgot what I was going to say. So, anyway, so hopefully we'll find some nice ones. So, so they're, they're all these are kind of little mini coin hunts, I suppose. Normally, we'd do a full five hundred pound bag of fifty p's, uh, a five hundred pound bag of, of two pound coins. There's another Shakespeare comedies. It's a very shiny two thousand fifteen. Let's have a look and see if that was rotated in it. Uh, ooh, Trinity House, nice. You can argue that's worth more than two pound as well. Maybe it's three pound. If it was in. Again, in nicer condition, maybe it's a, a tad more. 
But yeah, so these are mini, mini hunts, so I would normally do £500 worth of £2 coins if I was doing a, a full coin hunt, and £250 worth of 50 pences. But I quite like the idea of this kind of smaller little mini hunts and a mix and match, so people get their, if you like £2 and 50p, you get a mixture of both. If I spot any 2015, I just give them a little spin. Case the, the queen's the wrong way up. So I'm excited to see what I'm going to find. There's the Brunel arches that will only be worth two pound for well for as long as day turns into night. That's for sure. Plenty of them around. Dirty condition that one. Right now, right. Oh, see another commemorative coming up here. even more than one Shakespeare the comedies and not for the first time today and probably not for the last time today yeah, first world war army centenary so many of them minted nine and a half million been released into circulation and I think loads have been circulated around the northeast because I get tons of them. There's another one. There's another one we see a lot of. Not that one, but this one. St. Paul's. 65 days since the V Day, V Day, V E Day. Celebrations at the end of the Second World War. Nice to get the commemoratives. That's an Act of Union coin celebrating when England and Scotland were united into one kingdom 300 and odd years ago. Oh, I'll have to tell you about my lucky leprechaun coin as well. Just at the time of filming, and I am a little bit ahead of my two pound hunts. And uh, my solo hunts, I should say. There's another time I said, hey, and I've just been to Dublin. Ellie and I went to went to Dublin. It was Ellie's birthday, so I took her there for the day. We got a Ryanair, ten pound flight. Ten pound each way. And while we were there, we did the National Leprechaun Museum, and I bought this coin. I think I've already look at already. <laughs> that wasn't like that. I've already began to chip that. Oh, from the neck. Look at that. I've already, I've already felt it up quite a bit. But anyway, I'm hoping that'll build. I'll leave it there in shot. I'm hoping that's going to bring some luck in this little mini series. Now, if you're watching them as they upload, I'm going to upload them. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every night for that week. The second Shakespeare coin just needs a hollow crown to complete the set. And is this it? It is. Plenty of them around as well. So, yes, I'm going to be uploading every night, every weeknight this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And if you're not watching it live, then I'll put a link at the end of the video. If you're not watching them as they are published, if you're watching this in the future, hello to the future you. Uh, then I'll put a link into the to the next one. Loop it back around. Another army centenary, another Brunel arches. And just one bag left. One of the two pounds, nothing for the book, but of course, just need that Commonwealth Games Wales, which is pretty rare to say the least. In all the years of coin hunting, I think we've only ever found one. I haven't found any when I've been doing them on my own, and we found one when I've been doing it with Lady M. How oh, quite a few Northern Ireland Commonwealths, which are even more rare. Wales usually allude 
to me. Right, so plowing straight into the 50Ps. And we're looking for Olympics and Kew Gardens. Although it's always nice to find some variety. And then maybe there's a puddle duck or two along the way. That's Paddington at the Palace. No, it's not. It's Paddington at the uh, St. Paul's Cathedral. There's Sir Benjamin Bunny. Lots and lots of him around, as we know. I will sign him and put him into circulation. Although, I think I'm planning on putting him in circulation down south. So the people who don't live around these parts have got a better chance of finding one. As all my coins go back through the bank and end up at the Haydock Cash Centre. And the Haydock Cash Centre mainly serves North East, North West, maybe up to Scotland, as other cash centres service the South of England and Wales. Brexit. So yes, that's the plan. I'm going to sign, sign them, and maybe next time I'm down to see Trev. And coins to collect on. Maybe it's Christopher, or Grossy, or Katie. I'm going to put them in the bank down there. In one big batch. There's another Brexit. So definitely nothing of value yet. And that's probably my biggest risk, I think, with the 50 pences because there is only a hundred pounds worth. Ten bags. Christopher Ironside. Because there's only ten bags worth, then there's less chance of finding a commemorative in each hunt. But overall, in this mini series. Be fair chance. There's only ten. Well, I want ten bags an episode. Five episodes. Ten fives. Fifty bags. Dictionaries. So not found anything at all of value yet. But don't worry. Still a few bags left to go. And there's another Paddington at the cathedral. Paddington the Tower, so at least we've got the Paddington, the Paddington set from 2019. And a Team GB there, 2016. So at least I've got some variety. We haven't blanked. With only 10 bags, there's a good chance that you could blank and not get anything at all. Incidentally, while well, this is the first time I'm using this coin map, you'll have probably seen it by now on our, our hunts, Lady M and I's hunts. We've unfortunately lost Raftree, who made these mats. So I've gone to eBay and it's nowhere near as nice. Oof. Imagine finding that Kew Gardens. Oh, it's a WWF though. That'll do. That's nice. Here it's got that kind of that stripe, of it, with loads of stripes across it. Look from here. This bit here, loads and loads across. That's a shame. But that's it. That is lovely. Lovely find. I don't think I need it for the book. But definitely the that's definitely the plum find of the hunt so far. I'll stick that down. I'll stick that down there. Oops. Definitely the plum. There's dictionaries again. So yes, unfortunately we lost a bad draft tree, so I've needed to find another alternative map to eBay. Roger on the banister. And uh, it's just not a good quality. It's a little bit dark, it looks like it looks it looks grubby before you even start. To come and thick and fast now. EEC stars. Looked over face value as well. Maybe the pounds worth. Um, yeah, and I've already. So it's the first time I've ever used it, and I've already made it mucky. I've, I've got some kind of smeg. You can't see it, but just down here to the right hand side of the end. I don't know what I've spilt on it, and it's a funny, it's like a mouse mat material. So I'm not sure how this is. This will clean up, or whether. See the one that the the raft tree ones I could put in the. 
in the wash. So I'm not sure how it's gonna pan out, but time will tell. And I say you probably you'll you'll actually know before me because our soul our, um, our coin hunts lady and joint coin hunts will certainly be know before this one. Three bags to go, including this one. And I'm pleased with the finds. Nothing for the book. But I'm pleased overall with what I've got. Commonwealth Games. So I do want a Commonwealth Games. Wales in the two pound hunts but not I'm not interested in the that one because there's lots of them around and it's only worth 50p although it's kind of a little one of a triple set because it's got the, the same obverse same queen side is on them two coins and also it's on the Q guards as well so maybe it's in the last two bags I might get the, uh, the hat trick That'd be nice. It'd be a nice start to the mini series. 2017. It's a shield. Low minted shield there. Oh, that's nice. This is what a great start this is. What fun this is great for just ten bags. Suffragettes. Definite keeper. Couple of pound. Couple of pounds worth of coin there nice probably even more possibly even more than that please with that two pounds rubbish but the lucky leprechaun is doing the business with the 50ps let's see where we get it with the last bag oh i can see oh there's a commemorative of another one the Christopher Ryan side there's another commentary coming up so please do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed do turn on that notification bell so that you when I upload the other episodes in this series you'll get a little notification off YouTube but put a like on the video that really helps us out put a comment on as well let me know what you think of this little mini series or what you maybe looking what you think I might find overall there's another Benjamin Bunny I reckoned I was going to find two as well Honest. Um, right, can I zoom out? It's a little bit skew if the finds look. Because I've zoomed out, they've all gone a bit. Would normally have filled this in, but the zoom in just didn't quite work, did it? There's that splodge I was on about. Anyhow, so nothing to write home about on the two pounds, but I will give the honourable mention to this one. That is the best two pound find of the hunt. And these three. Are the plums they're all over face value and I think I would ordinarily give my favorite find to the WWF but it has got that stripe on so the suffragettes would be the second oh, I, don't, I can't really decide I can't really decide it would definitely be the WWF if it wasn't for them stripes that's a bit mucky right I'm going WWF I'm going this one don't find that very often at all. Super. Super duper. Right, let me know what you think of the hunt in the comments. Do please make sure you watch the rest of the season. See, I keep saying season. The rest of the series, little mini hunts. And obviously stay tuned coming up in the not too distant future. will be Lady M and I's normal uh, versus hunts. Where we look through 50p's trying to fill our books. See who's going to get the most before Christmas. Right, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.